Good evening. We're back with some more Lord of the Rings LCG. And tonight it will be Flight from Moria on Nightmare Difficulty. Nightmare Difficulty changes this quest pretty significantly. It removes the quest stage that allows for a quick exit, if you get lucky. It makes the tools exit harder, and it adds a new exit, which also takes four or five turns to accomplish. So we start out with a four threat location. Two points in the victory display as usual. And a pretty decent starting hand with a Steward of Gondor and an Ether Swordsman. So this isn't an easy quest and there's an element of the random to it that can make it quite frustrating on Nightmare difficulty, much more so than on normal difficulty. And there's really nothing you can do in terms of deck design to make the quest any easier. To, beyond a certain point. Because you just need to draw the right quest stage and it's going to be random every round. Unless you clear them all and continue adding them to the victory display. Which continues to buff the Nameless Fear more and more. In that case there's something you can do. A very good tail here with cost of only 3 and find a 2 cost and a 1 cost and I'm going to try that again. And I find another 2 cost and a 1 cost so that's a good start. Sixth threat against to start but I shouldn't have any trouble handling that. So I quest for 7. It's a doomed one, reveal one, and the quest stage is uh, just a pain. The Nameless Fear is going to make an attack, and then I bypass it. Each player must do X damage to an ally that essentially just kills one ally. So I make progress that does nothing good, move to Shadowed Corridor. And the Nameless Fear is going to make an attack, but it's only an attack for two. So no problem. Now we're going to bypass this quest card, which costs two threat because of the active location. And we'll see what we get next round. It's going to be all for this round. Well, another Ether Swordsman. Always good to get those out early. can just play all the contents of my hand here. No reason not to. And I'm going to be questing to try to clear the location. Don't want to accidentally clear one of the quest stages though because then you increase the power of the Nameless Fear. So I get Shadow of Fear on one of my heroes, which requires three resources to clear. It's going to blank the text box while it's there. But I do go ahead and clear the location and make an additional five progress. Luckily for me, that's not sufficient to clear the quest phase. And off it goes. So this is what we're going to be doing until the right quest phases come out. Just clearing a new one every round, playing the contents of the hand. And either you get the right quest phases in time or you thread out. 
at this point I don't know that there's too much more skill involved in this quest. Just going to be questing for six every round. It's another shadow of fear. Need to be cleared out next turn, so don't make any progress because you can't make progress on that phase without abandoned tools, and I don't have those yet. So I've got no choice but to bypass this. And once again, it's going to cost three resources to get rid of the Shadow of Fear. Going to move a resource around. Play a Hunter of Lamadon and decline its response. And this time we've got narrow paths that requires me to remove one of the questing characters or just select one and that one is the only one whose willpower is going to count. That'll be one of the Anphalos Herdsmen who are currently questing and that will be for three willpower. Compared to the two thread on the board I do make one progress which means I can go search for the abandoned tools. Thanks to some luck and questing precisely, I don't clear the narrow paths right away. So that's very good. So we can go for the rare tools victory, which is quite a difficult victory to get in either normal or nightmare mode. Might have only gotten it once before. Now I need a guard for it, it is guarded, it's going to be a Goblin Spearman. And I can just go ahead and engage that enemy right away and dispatch it. And in this case I have to deal 2 damage to Aristor, but no problem, he's not going to take any additional damage. And I've got the attack power to take out this enemy pretty easily. And the abandoned tools are free. Now it's just a matter of finding the right stage to use them on and digging a way out over four turns without having that one card come that shuffles the quest card back into the deck. Definitely going to be, well, yeah, definitely going to be going through the whole deck this game. No reason to really use very good tail here. I'm looking to see what Men of the West targets there are. So I go ahead and grab the Warrior of Lossernock. And the quest for this round is once again the Nameless Fear Attacks one. This is unique to the Nightmare mode. It's just an inconvenience at this particular point. I do have the ability to deal 10 damage to it and then move on to the next quest phase. However, that would add this quest phase to the victory display. I'd rather bypass it. Though I don't figure that out for a moment, I consider doing the damage to the Nameless Fear. So that I can just move on to the next quest, but then I realize that would mean buffing the Nameless Fear. Maybe I should have done it anyway, though. That may have been the better move. Thinking about just doing 10 damage. 
but eventually I do reconsider and decide not to do that and just to bypass the quest just to avoid buffing the Nameless Fear too much. It's very cautious play. So I'm reading it, I'm realizing there's one victory point on the card. And thinking about it. And I decide I'm not going to do that. And I couldn't remember all the characters I exhausted, but I also realized it didn't matter because there's nothing more for them to do this round anyway. So I'm going to bypass the quest. Shuffle it back into the quest deck and move on to the next round. Make a half-hearted attempt at remembering which guys I'd exhausted. Just hoping for the quest stage with which I can dig my way out. And continuing to build up the board just for something to do really. And once again, it's the narrow paths, the stage where you find the tools, not the stage where you use them. I have to remove one character from the quest, in this case, of the two that I use. So I'm going to be taking on some threat here. It's one, two, three, four. I believe I took on one threat. And just keeping the board clear. Go ahead and bypass the quest stage. Hope for some better luck. And it is the one that I'm looking for. So just need four refresh phases, but immediately it's the card that shuffles the uh, quest back into the deck. So that's frustrating because there's only a one in nine chance for it to come out. So that's, that's rough. <laughs> that was frustrating for sure. And that's the end of my deck. So the only question is, am I going to get the right quest phase and have a chance to clear it? before I get to 50 threat. Gonna sacrifice one of the cannon fodder here. And take out the cave troll. Move on to the next quest phase. And let's see what we get. It is Hasty Council, which means you can look at the next two cards of the quest deck and choose one to become the active quest. So that could be helpful if, if I get one of the if the if one of the top two cards is the one I'm looking for, that'll be helpful. It does buff the Nameless Fear by two, and one of the two cards is the one I'm looking for, so that's great. The other one goes on the bottom of the deck, Quest deck, and then Hasty Council goes to the Victory Display. So I just need four refresh phases. That location will surge due to me not having a, hard, a card to discard from hand. And this card surges as well into removing characters until the willpower of the characters removed is equal to or higher than the Nameless Fear. So that's all of my characters removed from the quest, which means all of the threat in the staging area is going to my threat dial. Puts me at 43 threat. 
can travel and deal with the enemy and then just hope I can make it through four refresh phases without the shuffler coming back. And I'll get the elusive tools victory. So that's going to be one progress on Escape from Darkness. Nothing to play here, so I'm just questing to clear the location and not take any threat. It's another enemy, no problem. It does clear the location. And I'll have no trouble dispatching these enemies with my full board state. That drops my Hunter of Lamadon with the Shadow card. And therefore the attack becomes undefended and the damage goes on her Lewin. Well, refresh phase number two. Two more to go. No problem there. No damage, no trouble dispatching this enemy. That's going to be refresh phase number three. So just need to get through one more encounter card. And no problem. So I don't need to worry about doing anything with these enemies beyond defending their attacks, but I go ahead and clear them anyway. Attacking enemy gets plus one, no big deal. Attacking enemy destroys the defending ally, which is going to make the attack undefended. Luan does have seven HP thanks to the Onphalos Herdsman, so that doesn't kill him. And I just clear the board here for no good reason at all except vanity. Refresh phase. That'll be the final progress I need and the victory. This might be the first time I've gotten a tools victory, I'm not sure. It does take some luck. So hasty counsel is helpful. Still only a 2 out of 9 chance that the quest card that I needed would be there, but it was. And it held up for 4 rounds. Got the victory. Thanks for watching.